uh, and turn your back on play but this is a dangerous position the rain is coming down again here so this is going to be a difficult one for the keeper to hold if it's on target Farrell comes up and it's just past oh. the post so oh, it's a great save by Poles brilliant from Leon Poles getting across it was hard to tell from here whether it was going to creep inside but uh, Leon Poles certainly wasn't taking any chances a great strike from Shane Farrell here it is again Paul yeah I, t I thought he had done the keeper with the pace he gets on it Poles gets across brilliantly it's that top of the foot one isn't it Oh, because it's a, you always know about a keeper's dive. It's the full Back stretch dive. Mandrew on the edge of the box. Marky does well to get up and win it. And he does well then, Marky, to get it away. And Roberto Lopez under pressure from James Taylor. It's a loose header from Lopez. Ahui just lost his footing momentarily. James Taylor is in behind him. Poses in no man's land. James Taylor. Oh, it's a great oh. save by the keeper. It's back to him again. He's put oh. it over the bar. What a chance for Drawdy United. Great save initially by Liam Poles. He looked like he might get caught out of position. He got back, made a great initial save, and well, you would have backed James Taylor to stick the rebound away, Paul, but he just got too much height on it. Oh, you're just waiting for the net to ball, aren't you? He doesn't miss from them positions usually, but I said it a few minutes ago about little balls up the side that might give them a bit more trouble. That's a perfect example. It's a great save initially. Oh, he's coming in from Jack Byrne. He's whipped a few in from the other side. This one's going to be an in-swinger, and the breeze is blowing down into that goal here as well, so it's going to be a tricky one for Luke Dennis to deal with towards the back post and it's headed down is it in no it's off the line they've gotten it away somehow Drada up into the air still not away fully and it's scrambled on the goal line again oh. it's, is it going to end up at the net no somehow Drada survived well that was a goal made scramble the like which I haven't seen in quite a while but Chamber Grover still have possession but now Lucchini wins it back and the frantic nature of this game has really ramped up a bit in the last five minutes or so here's Watts again It'd be interested to see that replay back because two or three times it looked like the ball was going to end up in the net. Drogheda survived somehow, but again, it was one of those brilliant deliveries from Jack Byrne. Here he is again, in behind for Ferrugia, who he needs to be careful. Brilliant ball across. A little bit of interference on McNulty, not enough, I don't think, for a penalty, but James Bulger again just being clever, Paul. Yeah, he's done well, but it's brilliant from Shamrock Rovers. It's that little slip in behind for Ferrugia, isn't it? McNulty does his best to try, but here's the one, there's the scramble. It was towards the back post, it was headed down by Daniel Cleary. Oh, so close. Over the head of McNulty, fired back in by O'Neill, up into the air. Foley gets up with Lee Grace, breaks back to Cleary again. And I think Ryan Brennan tried to hack it away. Luke Dennison's trying to get his hands on it well. A remarkable sequence of events. Draw to survive. I tell you what, you've done well to name all them players that were involved there. Um, it's some scramble. It was nearly going to turn into a spot. The bar box, brilliant. Uh, away from James Taylor. He can do damage in the other box, but he's back helping out his defence there. That's a good ball down the line. Another opportunity for Rovers to get the ball. It's pulled back, and it's a great shot by uh, Mandrew. Drada still haven't gotten away, it was blocked, but it's O'Neill who's trying to put it back into the danger area. Brilliant touch from Dennison to get it away. It's still not there. There. It's uh, into the hands of Dennison. Well, dramatic stuff again. Couldn't quite get it away, Drada United, but they eventually it's, hold on to it there. It's Webb. Dennison. Just watch this block from Webster, Dave. It was absolutely brilliant. He to get his body in the way of the ball. It was De Byrne who was calling for it. O'Neill did well to dig out across. Another great touch here from the It's keeper. a great ball, but Dennison does really oh, well, hasn't it, Dave? As I said, the tactical battle's really good. You can see Shamrock Rovers just trying to get a bit higher up the pitch and get them centre halves higher up the pitch. Just trying to invite Drotted on a little bit to go and press in the wrong areas, but they haven't. They still remained nice and compact. Rovers have it on the corner of the Drotted box. It's a great ball across the face of the goal, and Dennison couldn't go near it because McNulty was lurking and could have got a touch in it so Dennison had to just wait and then it just went wide at the far post with a brilliant ball in again it just flashes by the post then doesn't it in the end you look like McNulty can he get across does everything he can to it the clear a ball down the line towards Johnny Kenny but it's well dealt with by Dave Webster now here's Burke in a little bit of space Strauden all about him from their last visit here Shamrock Rovers when he fired one into the top corner it's a, a brilliant ball. ball from him into Ferrugia oh, great oh, save the flag safe. is up though good save from Dennison the flag went up it wouldn't have counted it's much brilliant I talked about it getting Ferrugia higher up the pitch Crane Burke everybody in the ground expects him to wind up and hit this when it's on his left but he's got other ideas he just slips it in between away and Quinn is it from oh, shots outside team. the box when they get, do get into them areas Rovers are lacking that just killer instinct in the box picking that right pass just that one moment of quality is all they'll need Steve McPhail has got himself a yellow oh, card Daniel Curry has come up to take so I was going to say he was going to throw it long he takes it short Lopez 10 yards inside the draw the United half McInnett for rather at Watts Here's Burke. Again, he's got a bit of room. He's got a bit of room to shoot too, and he gets the shot away, and he drags it wide. A little bit too much room for 
birth there, but Paul, tired bodies, and it's going to be uh, understandable. And now Adam Foley is saying he's going to be replaced by uh, Killian Kios. Yeah, he's put in a great shift. Again, don't forget, um, hasn't had a lot of 90 bench. minutes There's under been a goal at Tolkien Park. What do we say about drama in the last 10 minutes? It's gone to Shelburne, and it's Sean Boyd with a penalty. So they will now go back to the top of the table. The lead has changed hands a few times at the top of the Premier Division, and there's still time left yet. Here come Rovers again. The shot comes in. Oh, it's a brilliant oh, effort. What, what a, a hit. goal. What a strike. Dylan Watts, absolutely no saving that one into the top corner. And Paul, if that turns out to be the winner, what a goal it is to win it. I don't think anybody can blame anyone. We'll look back at it now in a minute. It's all about the strike. He just gets it out of his feet, and we can see we can see it right full here, right up in the gantry. He just into the stanchion, into the top corner. It's a fantastic strike. Well, Dylan Watts, it's just his second goal of the season. Got that header against Apoel. Everyone said... He's not usually one to head the ball, well he's certainly one to shoot from distance and with a strike like that, absolutely no chance for Luke Just Dennison. look at it again Dave, Ryan Brennan needs to do a little bit better here, you just see that ball, he does. He, he knows he has to get over to him, just gives him too much space, I don't know why he thinks he might come onto his left, he needs to mark him on that right side because that's where his strength is and that's where he's going to try and get onto. And I suspect the full time whistle will go any second now. It's been a really good game here. Both sides have had their chances, but Shamrock Rovers it is who come away with a priceless victory as their march for the title continues. They haven't gone away, you know, as the old saying goes. And they come away from here with a priceless 1 0 win. Darren Nugent and Ryan Brennan having a little chat there, the two former teammates, of course, in the centre of the pitch. And Paul, a really good game, a really enjoyable game. Both sides had their chances. Of course, Shamrock Rovers had the better of it in terms of the possession and everything else. But uh, you couldn't really argue with the quality of the goal to win it.